So here we are with another build on the MakerBot. This is an Alcubierre warp drive model that I actually made. You can see it right here. I made it in 123D CAD. Uh, this program here is Replicator G. Uh, this is the program that actually drives the MakerBot in order to actually print the, the design onto the plastic. Uh, this program here is, uh, is the uh, 123D CAD and uh, so you can see this model that I've that I've built here uh, that's kind of a the cylinder the thin cylinder hollow cylinder with the thing in the middle uh, I you know I apologize this is uh, not not to scale and, and you know I haven't painted it please excuse the crudity of this model I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it that's good oh thank you thank you So here, okay, so we turn around to MakerBot. Here's the old MakerBot. And we'll zoom in. And we'll pan down. You notice on this, I had to print this, uh, I had to print this with a raft. It needed supports. Uh, it makes it a little easier to get off. I'll have to clean the rest of that raft off in a minute. So here we go. This is the uh, Alcubier warp drive model. And uh, so you can see on the bottom, here's all the supports that were printed. And one thing I did wrong, notice this one goes in the exact same direction as the supports. I should have when I printed it, because I know that the rafts print up and down and left and right, I should have rotated the model uh, about 30 degrees so that uh, there were not straight supports under it. Uh, that way the beginning of this one vertical uh, support structure there wouldn't have been right on top of the supports, uh, the build supports. They would have been more like the zigzaggy ones uh, that you see back here. So to get this stuff off, all you do is basically just break it off and and then clean it up a little bit with a pocket knife or uh, whatever. So, get rid of the support stuff. And so the, uh, the model needs a little bit of cleanup. But uh, there you go. Actually, uh, Alcubierre warp drive. Um, there is one of these in the new Star Trek movie. If you watch in the Admiral's office, there's a whole series of starships, and this is actually in that list. So, or in the in the series of ships before they get to the Enterprise. Uh, 
So I, it's actually really cool. I, I noticed it, and so I wanted one to put on my desk along with the uh, other things I've been making, the Saturn V, the Mercury capsule, uh, the Dragon capsule, Mars, uh, Gale Crater on Mars, uh, those kinds of things. So uh, clean her up a little bit and, uh, and uh, put her on the shelf at work.